Guys, we need to talk about Gerard Butler because I don't know what this guy is doing, but it's just so incredibly irritating. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe to the channel. I'm coming at you with content every single day, 365 days of the year, daily and consistent. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali, guys, and a new podcast episode is out. Joe Budden, dogs, it's mental. The links are below. Gerard Butler, I don't know what you're trying to do. I feel like his intentions are well, but it always falls flat with individuals and people who run off to go do volunteering in Africa or in Asia or anywhere in Latin America or the Middle East or whatever, but primarily Africa where they go and they're out here posing around. This is the issue. Why are you running to social media to show everybody posing around with a little, you know, young black kids as this kind of insidious white savior complex that we are seeing here and we see this so often and it gives this image that Africa is this very poor corrupt low income or you know low economy related you know continent and several countries within it and Europe is the place to be America is the place to be because it's associated with this kind of you know be around white people they're the saviors and this white savior is so dangerous because if you in actual fact a lot of white people in the history in the past caused a lot of damage to the world. Not just white people, I feel like Arabs as well did, but we can get into that into another conversation because I've already got a video out that, about that already. Um, but it's really dangerous. And the, in the picture there he is, literally as if the, the kid is a, a dog or a pet. It's so inhumane. And I'm, I'm not, I don't wanna focus on the conscious side of what we're seeing here. What we need to really think about is the power of the subconscious message this image is sending. That is what I want to get into and that is why I wanted to do this video because he has been slammed and dragged for this. Why are you messaging me now? He has been slammed and dragged for this and he still hasn't deleted the post. It's so tone deaf and we see this so common with a lot of white people who go off to places. The subconscious message of this, he's holding it out like it's a bowl and the kid is like solely dependent on this white individual to have a better life. Solely dependent on being a better person in general. This is white supremacy doused all over it and this white savior complex is disgusting. But then, you know, you would have a lot of white people who when they hear the word white, they feel uncomfortable. They're like, why are you coming for me? Why are you attacking me? That's your white fragility. And you are now instilling that white fragility, using your white privilege to instill that white fragility to reinstate white racial equilibrium. That is what you're trying to do. You're using your white privilege to reinstate white fragility, to reinstate, you're using your, your white privilege, sorry, to allow your white fragility to come through. And what that does is it reinstates a white racial equilibrium. We're back at it again. It's disgusting what I'm seeing here. We have this white savior complex everywhere and someone needs to talk about it. Someone, and he's being dragged everywhere and I'm glad that he is. But people don't understand how dangerous this stuff is. It's honestly, honestly sad. He's holding out like this person is some flipping, like the kid is like a pet. As if like, look at me, I'm doing this for you. I'm helping you. Look how great I am as an individual. Just shut up, man, honestly. Keep your, like, this is no different to when Lindsay Lohan walks up to a Syrian refugee family and demands that they tell her their story while informing them of what they need and insisting they accept for help. She further degrades the parents, telling them they need to work hard. This is, do you remember when Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan was doing all that stupidness? Like, this is what we see. This is what we're seeing when it comes to white saviors and how we can hurt children, specifically hurt black children, especially in Africa. And we see it all the time, offering unhelpful kind of aid and expecting some kind of gratitude, using coloring books, tea bags, and chopsticks to Africa. What they do, take selfies with random kids they just met at an orphanage, start organization after visiting a country for two weeks, assume that Africa will be doomed without them, that they are there to be the sole heroes, doing up Superman, doing up real Batman, um, Spider-Man. Nobody asks you to take off the damn costume child go home and have your seasonless chicken that's all I have to say on this matter let me know what you guys think in the comments below because my friend is waiting for me outside and I'm still filming this video like he's not waiting for me outside so I really need to be opening that door but of course he can't wait because this video comes first but still like it's just yeah it's just this kind of white saver complex convinces you that you must be the voice for the voiceless. Responsible partnership requires that you pass the mic to the unheard. It means realizing that we are not voiceless. You've been talking over us for far too long. You're talking, you're talking. I feel like his intentions are well, but it's so ridiculously tone deaf. 
so tone deaf. Let me know your thoughts out guys, subscribe to the channel, and I'll, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Damn, he is still being awesome.